In this video, we're going to talk about this part of the detailed flowchart. So what we have here is the corporate production planning system is coming in. So schedule for an assembly line would normally be prepared based on demand from your planning department. It's likely going to come out of your ERP system as shown on the right. Most ERP systems can output data in Excel. That data can usually be moved into timer pros format either manually or programmatically. And you can contact us if you need help doing this. But what we're going to end up with is we're going to end up with a schedule out here in Excel. I can double click on this and I can show you the schedule. So here we have the Time Pro schedule format down below here. It's designed to be easy to populate by simply cutting and pasting from your current sources. Again, the common source of the schedule information will be likely from your planning or corporate ERP system. And the format can be easily populated programmatically. Uh, the fields are shown below. Okay, here on the left in column A, we are showing the build sequence for the schedule starting with the first model to go onto the line and incrementing by one for each subsequent model going onto the line. So you can see in this example, we have 10 different build sequences going through here. Uh, the sequence date, this is actually optional, this particular field, but this tells you date and time when the model is scheduled to start the first station in the line. So this date and time that you see here, is the time that's scheduled to go onto the line. Of course, that can change as the day goes on, but that's the scheduled time right here. Uh, your internal order number, that's column C here, uh, if it's used. Uh, your internal uh, model product code or name, so you're just calling it model A, model B here, is all we're going to have here. But you can have numbers in here and so forth. The description, your internal description of the model uh, product. The customer for whom the model is destined. This would be over here in column F. Uh, that, is, again, is optional. And then up to 50 options that can be associated with the model in that build sequence. So you can see here, for instance, uh, here we get model B as the first option going through here. And it's going to involve option 1 and option 2. This uh, model B, it's, uh, the third build sequence, it's going to have option 1, 2, and 3 in here, and so forth. So any combination of options can be actually be defined uh, on the schedule right here. So what we're going to do is import the schedule file in the build sequence into our Timer Pro process. And then what's going to happen down here, it's going to automatically process the schedule build sequence to identify where, when, and what work content by station will exceed the target tag times. This is the heart of the application. It's actually do a projection as to where issues are going to appear. And that's going to reflect the actual assembly line work content based on the schedule build sequence and model mix. So back in our process here, what we do is we go to the schedule option up here. So we click on the schedule and we're going to import a schedule. So we're going to come into our applied computer services, samples, models and options. And here we do give a schedule folder here. Open that up and here's our sample schedule. That's actually the one you just saw on the screen a moment ago there. I click on it and I click on the save. It brings it in. It runs through it. It does the automated projection of where the issues are. So we look at the details of this in the subsequent videos, but what that actually did here, automatically processed the entire schedule to identify where, when, and what work content by station will exceed the target tag time. This is the heart of the whole application right here. Please watch the next video to see how this information is presented and used.